God and keep his commandments. Fear the Heavenly Father and keep his commandments. Go ahead. For this is the du whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. This is the whole purpose on earth. Fear the Heavenly Father and keep his commandments. And get Job uh, uh, 28, 28 real quick. So if you're not doing that, are you going to be uh, preserved on the earth? If the Most High wants to destroy you, yeah. but guess what? He's going to put all types of hell on you. And then he's going to kill All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and honors to all you fellow laborers that are kicking this word in sincerity and in faith. For the Holy Spirit resting upon me to do this lesson. The name of the lesson is Many will support us in these last days and receive blessings for their acts of faith. Right? Because when people give alms, when they give money, when they give their substance, that's through the spirit of faith. They believe that they will be rewarded or they believe that we're doing the right thing. And so they give money or they give uh, water, they give food in support of the ministry. And that's what transpired yesterday because I was the 9th of uh, May 2020, the year of prophecy. And, you know, a lighter skinned lady, she looked initially to be an Edomite, uh, but I believe she was an Ishikaris. That's what brothers were saying. She may have been a, a, um, a Ishikaris, meaning from the tribe of Ishikar, a so-called Mexican. Yeah, because in the area is nothing but primarily Judah, but then also um, Ishikar. And uh, she, she just rode up and gave me $60. So that's what I just played. And, uh, you know, I received it. And as always, me being a character, you know, I counted it. And <laughs> I said, hey, man, the Wadi Haobashi Mao Shah. And that's going to happen a lot more. You know, a lot more people are going to give us alms, you know, give us of their substance. Because it resonates with their spirit. Because uh, she said, hey, you're preaching the Bible. You know, this is good. This is needed here. And she just straight up gave me the money. Uh, which I believe she may have uh, seen us out there yesterday. And then she saw again today. And she said, you know what, man? Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and hook this brother up. You know, and that's a blessing unto the woman. All right, so I'm going to get into a few scriptures. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse Five, my son, be mindful of the Lord our power all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. For if thou deal truly, thy doing shall prosperously succeed to thee and to all them that live justly. Right, and I firmly believe that, and I'm a testimonial of that. All right, if thou deal truly, thy doing shall prosperously succeed to thee. And to all them that live justly, right? Because brothers that are sincerely seeking the Heavenly Father, we're blessed in all of our ways. Now, of course, we get chastised. You know, we go through certain things. Yet overall, hey, we're good. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Give alms of thy substance. You see that? So we're to give alms of our substance. And when thou givest alms, let not thine eye be envious. Neither turn thy face from any poor in the face of the Most High shall not be turned away from thee. You see that? So we're supposed to be given alms of our substance. Okay, you have uh, you have some food, you have some water. All right, you have some uh, Federal Reserve notes. We're supposed to be giving those things out only to those that are worthy because when we go to the book of uh, Sirach, the uh, 12th chapter, it reads... Sirach 12 and 1. When thou will do good, know to whom thou doest it. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Right. So she's going to be thanked for that work. $60, man. That was that was cool. Hey, because the spirit had it. The tripod was falling the whole day. It was all windy. You know, but I had, uh, you know, I put together some little Jake trick through the spirit. You know, I have, uh, I have equipment in the trunk. So I put a medicine ball and I put some weight at the legs of the tripod so then 
it wouldn't be falling. Because if it fall repeatedly, you know, my phone would get broke, which it already got a little crack. And uh, that'll be all bad. You know, I'll be out of commission for a day, especially now with this uh, COVID-19 crisis. You know, things aren't being expedited as they were before. You know, so now, Yahabratza, I'm going to put that money towards getting a sturdier, a sturdier tripod. You know, so she's going to be thanked for her benefits. Why? Because she gave she gave that money, that $60, unto myself, which I'm out here every day ministering in the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. So that's a blessing unto her. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the Most High. That's right. So if you've given money to a godly man, even if that man can't pay you back, guess what? The Heavenly Father will reward you. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. You see that? So we're supposed to be given alms. Like I said, that's a blessing unto that lady. Look up that word alms. In historical context, money or food given to poor people. You see? Let me look up the etymon. Right. Woo! Compassionate from Ilios. Mercy, right? So that's you having mercy on somebody. Or right, you can see somebody's in need, or right, somebody's laboring. You you have the spirit of mercy which is upon you, and you give them uh give them something so that they can be helped. That which is given to relieve the poor or needy. Right. Pity, mercy, right? You have pity upon somebody, so you give them some food, you give them some water. And like a lot of people that have have any type of soul, all right, they'll They'll have went to a restaurant and then they're walking back to their car and they'll see somebody homeless. You know, they have the takeout box and the spirit of uh, pity or mercy comes upon them. And they say, you know what? I already ate this. I already ate a lot of it. You know, I got a little bit. I could save it for later or I could just give it to this homeless man. And people do that. You know, so that's an example. Right. Charity, alms, compassionate. Right. So that that woman was compassionate. She saw us out there in the hot sun. All right. We in the damn hood. <laughs> she smack dab in the middle of the hood. Bringing out the word in all boldness. So the spirit of compassion came upon her. All right, and she helped out. All right, so let me go back to the book of Surah 12 and 3. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Right, so we're supposed to be given alms. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Right, so we're supposed to give to the godly, but help not the sinner. So you may see somebody out on the streets, you know, a homeless Jake. You know, me, myself, just uh, letting you know what I do. You know, I'll talk to him for a little bit. I'll vibe his spirit, you know, and if he has a, a all right spirit, I'll give him some money. But if he's if he's a complete demon, I ain't about to give that guy no money. Because you'll actually be aiding him in his own destruction. All right, so let me go back to Tobit. Verse 8, if thou has abundance, give alms accordingly. If thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little. Right now, now there's a story. i am leaving this in the book of Luke. Of a woman, she gave she gave all that she had, and she was more justified than those uh, those scribes and Pharisees. I think it's in the book of Luke, sixteenth chapter. All she, all she hath. Let me see. Bear with me. Yep, here it is, Luke twenty one, and. Um, I'll start at the top. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, of a truth, I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of the Most High. But she of her penury have cast in all the living that she had. You see that? Now through the Spirit, you know, that lady, she didn't have much. You know, she wasn't riding in no big body bins. You know, in that, that area, Mack Road, it's a very impoverished area. Yet she gave according to what was in her heart. You know, she gave what she had. So that's a blessing unto that lady. You know, the Wadi Al-Bashim shot for her. Right, and when you give alms, like, like today, right? I just saw that dude, uh, Nino Brown, uh, which he's, a, he's an interesting character out of uh, Miami, if I'm not mistaken. Now, he titled the video, uh, Nino Brown Gives to the Homeless. You're not supposed to be in that spirit. Now, Shalom to uh, the elder brother Manatazapa. He got Matthew, the sixth chapter here. And I'm going to go ahead and read it. 
Matthew 6 and 1. So he's going off just like Drake. He got that uh, that video for the song God's Plan, and he's handing out money also in Miami, if I'm not mistaken. You're not supposed to do it like that. Matthew 6 and 1, take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Right, and you could tell that that woman, she wasn't doing that to be seen. She just pulled up real quick in the whip, handed it off, you know, said a few words, and she did it moving. To be seen of them, otherwise you have no reward of your no reward, excuse me, of your father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have the reward. Right. Because a lot of people they do that because they want men to look at them as if they're righteous. They look, man, I'm feeding the hood. I'm handing out turkeys. Here it is, the dude selling dope. All right, the rest of the year destroying the community. But for uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, he handed out turkeys, man. And you want people to look at him as if he's some godly man. When he really nothing but a dirt bag. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. That thine alms may be in secret. And thy father would see if in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Right. And this lady, she's going to get rewarded. All right, let me go ahead and play it again. Yep, right here. Yeah, go ahead and see. And keep his commitment. And get Joe, uh, uh, 28, 28 real quick. I think she in a century. Let me see who cars. Yeah, I think she in a Nissan century. So if you're century. not doing that, are you going to be uh, preserved on the earth? Or Ultima. If the most high wants to destroy you, yeah. But guess what? He's going to put all types of hell on you. And then he's going to kill you. That's a perfect example right there. You know what guy hit by the car? <laughs> so that's a blessing man she's going to be rewarded openly all right the heavenly father could save her just off that as a matter of fact let me go to the book of matthew the temp i may have it queued up here yep matthew chapter 10 verse 40 he that receiveth you receive of me and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me right so she received us she received myself and so, guess what? She received Yahweh Shai. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Right, so that woman, she's going to be rewarded. Right, I, like the brother said, that was cool as well. It was cool as heaven, brother. I, I gotta, I gotta say that it was cool as heaven, man. She was, she was a cool, she was a cool lady. And guess what? The heavenly Father had women set up during the time that Paul was on the earth, all right, to to help out the saints. Older woman. I got an example here in the book of Romans, the sixteenth chapter, Romans sixteen and one. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Centria, right? So she was a servant of the church. That ye receive her in Ha'adawan as become of saints, and that you assist her in whatsoever business she have need of you, for she have been a succour of many, and of myself also. You see that? So she was a helper. All right, so let's look up this word succour. Strong's G, 4368. Prostatis. 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 A woman set over others. A female guardian, protectress, patroness. Listen to this. Caring for the affairs of others and aiding them with her resources. You see that? So that lady was a secure. Like a woman set over others because women like that are supposed to be instructing other women on how to be, on how to aid the church. Because you have a lot of women, you know, they come on the common board. Yeah, curse out that devon. That devil. Yeah, brother, cut, cut up that devil. Hit this precept. When really, that woman was in a correct spirit. That's how you're supposed to be. Uh, you roll up, you give some money. Okay, you uh, you give some water. You give some food. You say some, you say some encouraging words. And then, you know, that's it. And those type of women are supposed to instruct the other woman to, to, uh, to act likewise. As a matter of fact, I believe that's in the, uh, the book of Titus. The aged woman. Right. Titus chapter 2, 
Verse 3, the aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. You see that? So that's the spirit that that woman was in, okay? A female guardian, protectress, patroness, which is a woman who is set over others, caring for the affairs of others and aiding them with her resources. And that's exactly what that woman did. And she don't know me from Adam. Yet through the spirit, you know, she uh, she heard us. She heard myself out there preaching. She saw uh, myself and the brothers on the outside out there. And she commended me and she said, yeah, you know, that that's good. That's good. This is what we need out here. Yeah, you're preaching the word. Um, back in the book of Romans 16 and 3, greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Hamashiach Yahawashah. Right. So there's certain men who are set up to be helps. Men and women, as a matter of fact. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. You see that? Let me see. Verse 12, for as the body is one and have many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body. So also is Mashiach. You see that? So you have certain men that are just helpers. As a matter of fact, it might be right here in the 28th verse. I'll start at 27. Now ye are the body of Mashiach and members in particular. And the Most High have set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps. You see that? So there's certain people who are set up just to help. Governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? Now that's a rhetorical question, which is no. But covets earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Then he goes into the 13th chapter about love, which is, uh, when you look it up, agape, or charity, I should say, which when you look it up is agape, which means brotherly love, you see? So let me look up this word helps. And so we're going to have that, and this is going to aid us in this time of trouble, you know, through the spirit, and this is just an example, us that are doing the right thing, that are fervent in the spirit. You really think the Heavenly Father is going to leave us out here to dry? Or are we doing all this work? Or right, putting our life on the line. You really think he's just going to have us out here broke and miserable? No, of course not. Right, so the word here is. Strong's G484. Antilipsis. 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 A laying hold of apprehension, perception, ob objection of a disputant. Really is this. To aid help. Right, and I'm going to play this again. This woman aided me. And like I said, the whole day, <laughs> my tripod was falling down. I was thinking, you know what? I need to go ahead and get a sturdier tripod. And voila, $60 will get you a solid tripod, about a 60-inch one, real sturdy. But guess what? He's going to put all types of hell on it, and then he's going to kill me. That's the first example right there. You only got hit by the And there's going to be many more examples of this, especially women. See, you have we're gonna have, we're gonna have women like that, older women who are just trying to help, and we're gonna have women that want to be our wives. And they're going to they're gonna actually give us substance. They're gonna bring their substance. This is all prophecy, brothers. And we're actually living in this. All right, so we, we should in no, in no wise be ashamed, be afraid, or be downtrodden. We should be lifting up our heads right now because our redemption draweth nigh. And these things, you know, happen in our day-to-day -day life so that we can be comforted and so that that spirit of faith can be emboldened even more in us. All right? Right, that could seal her salvation just off of that. Right, that's what the brother Khabar, that's what... His name means companion, friend of the prophets. That's right. 
Because you have certain people who aren't prophets, yet they're friends of the prophets, all right? They're supporters, aides, succors of the prophets. And as the Spirit had me bring out in the book of Matthew, the 10th chapter, they're going to receive a prophet's reward. Right, beautiful. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Right, how can a man then understand his own way? See, in her mind, she could have wanted to be in the other side of town. Yet the spirit had her go back to that, that area just to give the money. You know, just to aid myself and get in a tripod and to and to throw in on some uh, food. Because there's this uh, Asherite lady. You know, she comes in here. She uh, cleans up the house about every every two weeks. Don't judge me, brothers. <laughs> uh, she's a so-called Peruvian peruana. And uh, she, back in her homeland, she had a catering business. And so my woman asked her for a quote. You know, so when we get together, we can have some um, Peruano food, some Asherai food. Hey, which, you know, Judah, hey, Judah is known for chicken, man. But I got to say, man, them, them Peruvians, hey, they chicken is, they chicken is like that, man. But wasn't so tribal, I'd give them the, uh, I'd give them the, the leg up on it. I'm just playing. But they, hey, man, they have very good food. And I see the brother, the brother, uh, Dai Garms from Basra. I know that brother's from the tribe of Asher. Now you can you can testify that Peruvian food. You know, that's fire. They got the uh, the yuca root, you know, the yuca fries, and they got that Peruvian chicken. It's fire. So and that's all through the spirit. You know, so that money can be put towards a few things. You know, send some up to the uh, to the elders, and that's what it's about. Freely you have received, freely give. Which that's talking about this truth, and it's also that also applies uh, to your carnal substance. All right, so this is the book of Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You see that? So you're going to have women who are coming with their own substance, okay, with their own apparel. Because generally in this society, in order to pr procure a good-looking woman, you got to cash out for it. That's generally what it is. To see the times that we're coming into, and really we're in the beginning of those times, these women, they're going to come to us, all right, and they're going to entreat us to take them in as wives, all right, and they're going to they gonna be cashing us out, and also we're going to have what? We're going to have elder women like that who just support in spirit. They just want to help out because they see that we're doing mighty works of faith, okay? Right, so let me go ahead and get... The last few of these precepts concerning alms. This is Surah 3 and 30. I believe the elder, he uh, he put this on a comment board. Surah 3 and 30. Water will quench a flaming fire, and alms maketh an atonement for sins. You see that? So for those that listen and you're not on the highways and hedges, well, guess what? Give some alms. That'll make an atonement for sins. Because those of us that are on the highways and hedges, it tells us in the book of James, the fifth chapter, Concerning us preaching that, that hides a multitude of our sins. Now, if you don't have the spirit to preach, because not everybody is a prophet, is a teacher. Excuse me, as the spirit had me bring out in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. Well, guess what? You can give alms and be delivered just because of that. This is James chapter 5, verse 19. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, convert means with the truth. Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. You see that? So a multitude of your sins can be hid by converting the sinner from the error of his way. Likewise, water will quench a flaming fire and alms make an atonement for sins. You see that? So just by giving money. All right? In faithfulness, Sirach 7 and 10, be not faint-hearted when thou makest thy prayer and, le and neglect not to give alms. Right, neglect not to give alms. And when you do it, you have to do it from a sincere heart, not grudgingly as the brother Kabar, I believe he put that on a comic board, 2 Corinthians, Corinthians 9 and 6, but this I say, he which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Right, and this is carnal and spiritual. Okay? Every man according as he purposeth in his heart. So let him give, right, according to what's in your heart. You want to do it from a sincere, a sincere place in your mind. So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, 
for the most high love of a cheerful giver, right? Not grudgingly or of necessity. Oh shit, man, I gotta give tights. If you if you if you in that spirit, don't even give it, man. So back in Surah 7 and 10, be not faint-hearted when thou makest thy prayer, and neglect not to give alms. You see that? So neglect not to give alms. Surah 12 and 3, the Spirit had me bring it out, I'll bring it out again. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Right, and we see that with our people. That's why Jake getting gunned down, getting 18 shot. Do, 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 do. All right, and, and why is that happening to you? Because you're occupied in evil. Nor to him that giveth no alms. You see that? Nor to him that giveth no alms. Right, you're always stingy. Or you got nothing but lint in your pocket when brothers ask what you got on the, uh, what you got on the drink. All right, what you got on the wings. <laughs> Uh, Sirach 17 and 22, the arms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of man as the apple of the eye. You see that? So those good deeds, the Heavenly Father will keep them as the apple of the eye and give repentance to his sons and daughters. You see that? That's how important giving, giving arms are. Beautiful. Sirach 29 and 12, shut up arms in thy storehouses and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. That's right, man. And I can testify to this scripture right here in the book of Proverbs 11. And 24, there is that scattereth and yet increaseth. Right. So you scatter your money, yet you increase. Or you, you throw out money, but then you end up getting more money. And there is that withholdeth more than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. Right. You stingy. The scriptures say uh, riches are not comely for a nigger. Meaning somebody who's all stingy. You know, they got a million dollars. They don't want to give you ten. You got people like that, man. Stingy ass jakes, man. Most sides, most sides not dealing with you guys like that, man. You stingy as hell. You don't want to cook for brothers. You don't want to give no money. You don't want to ever throw in. All right, but you got money. You got money during the week. All right, for yourself. But when it comes to you going to camp, you don't want to throw it into the, uh, throw it into the pot, so to speak. Giving money to the treasurer, you ain't got nothing. And a lot of times, brothers have to end up helping you out. You see? That's not a good spirit to be in. And we're Israelites, man, so every brother should have that, that spirit to know how to make money. And if you don't, guess what? Get around a brother that does. That brother can put you on. There's really no excuse, man. There's really no excuse. Because a lot of our people, they suffer from a poor work ethic. Well, And, and you see, it translates into this truth. All right, they don't have a strong work ethic according to a carnal, carnal substance. And they don't have a strong work ethic in this truth. Yeah, Jake's waking up one in, one in the afternoon. And they might tell you, to, or I say you at, a, you at a brother's house. Or I say there's brothers as roommates. One Jake will wake up at one, tell you to, uh, tell you to uh, be quiet. Nigga, it's one in the afternoon, man. <laughs> Why don't you get your ass up? But Jake has... Jake has uh, Bad work ethic. All right, this is Surah 29 and 12. Shut up arms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. That's right. Surah 31 and 11. His good shall be established, and the congregation shall declare his arms. Surah 35 and 2. He that requireth a good turn offereth fine flour, and he that giveth alms sacrifice of praise. Surah 40 and 24. Brethren and help are against time of trouble. Right, brethren and help are against time of trouble. You see that? That lady helped me out. And guess what? In these times of trouble, the Heavenly Father is going to put the Spirit on people to help us, to entreat us. And just the day before, there was some Edomite who was, you know, he was tripping. You know, he was behind me tripping. Now, a so-called black lady was recording him. She had her son in the car. And this Gadite came up, and he was listening. And he pulled out a, he pulled out a switchblade. And he asked, me, he asked me if I needed him to go and handle the Edomite. And I said, oh, no, nah, brother, it's all good. You know, we're going to keep it spiritual. But see, these things are going to happen more and more. We don't have to lift up a finger, man. We don't have to, you know, work and, and uh, bug ourselves out. Well, what am I going to do? Look, man, the Heavenly Father is going to send people to help us. And that lady is a prime example. Sir Rock, because it's not going to happen just to myself. I do these videos to share what's going to happen to all of us that are sincere and seeking Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Surah 20, I'm sorry, Surah 40 and 24, brethren and help are against time of trouble. You see that? But arms shall deliver more than them both. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful. 
you know, so through the spirit, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. As always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shimi Shai, the Wadi Yahweh, Baha Shimi Shai, for giving me the opportunity to rise this sunrise and do this lesson. And I pray that it was edifying unto you sincere believers. I pray that you have a beautiful day and that uh, you get increased in the spirit. Until next time, Shalom. on the earth, if the Most High wants to destroy you, yeah. But guess what? He's gonna put all types of hell on you, and then he's gonna kill you. That's the example right there. The only guy hit by himself. Well, see, you think, sister? Hey, y'all, watch me on shot.